So now I'm going to show you how multi-login works, uh, actually how the interface is and how you can uh, create a profile, how you can use it and even how can you see, select an operating system like uh, Mac OS or Windows or how can you uh, set any proxy, everything with multi-login. I have already installed it in my PC. Uh, you can see uh, the multi login app is here. And, okay, I'm just opening it. So. After clicking on that uh, new browser profile, something like this will uh, come here. Like, okay, browser profile name. Uh, okay, I'm just writing like, okay, nothing. PC and HP headline. Okay, this is my profile name. Here is the operating system. Uh, you can see if you click on this edit, uh, you can use. Windows, Linux, or Mac operating system here. Okay, the proxy part is gone now you can see it has time zone okay you can see uh, edit the time zone or it has something like wherever it is like so one uh, profile details doesn't uh, overlap with another geolocation and other thing everything is here but one thing like okay like the full screen so okay so here's the thing, so everything is here, now you can see, here is the option for create profile or if you want to change anything from here, you can change from here, even here is something like advanced setting, if you want to go to the advanced setting, and you can see navigator forms, uh, media devices like uh, mobile or something, hardware extension, if you want to add an extension to your browser or something storage options browser plugins everything is here you can select from here just go into this option and so i'm just showing you the basic process all you need to do is so i have put the name here i have selected operating system as windows uh, i have selected mimic it will work as chrome google chrome so i'm not changing any proxy or nothing everything is uh, you have already seen how higher from higher you can change the process so all you need to do is Click on this create profile. Okay, you can see new profile has created. So where's the new profile? 
you can just search from here. So uh, I have created a new profile. Uh, now you have to find how is the uh, profile is. So you can see previously on a single was 18 now. Sorry, on a single was 17 now it's 18. You can search from here like okay, just search from here. Okay, you can see the new profile is here and last edited was eight, one minute ago. So it two minute ago. It shows it always updated. Like here in this group I have some. You can see these are last edited in, the, in this time. So you can see when one profile of browser was used. Even if you click on this home button, it will show all the profile here. If you click on this groups, it will show you the uh, groups here. So from the profile list, if you also search from here, okay, it will come from here. So now the thing is. It's in the unassigned group now. You can see. So, but uh, I want to assign it to in this one, beta 6, Windows 25, this one. Currently, there is no account here, it's showing like zero. So, you can select here, here. you can see it move to a group. Click on this. Just select the group here and move button. So after moving it, you can see uh, the account is in beta 6 in this group. So if you want to use this profile, all you need to do is click on this start button. So it takes a little time, but yeah, it will open. So it will open a browser. You can see the browser is open. Uh, multi logging it has automatically reset your IP so that. Uh, it does not affect anything so now uh, you can go to a, anywhere like youtube.com so youtube is here if you want to use uh, individual facebook profile or gmail for this so okay uh, i have gone to this uh, facebook open so like i am searching for this and okay headline Okay, you can see uh, everything is as like uh, I am watching this video. Okay, so the main part is so uh, here's the thing that okay, video is going here, everything here. I'm closing this browser, I'm closing this profile. Okay, I have closed it. So when you will close it, uh, you see there is a option like syncing it has synced the details even it has uploaded the profile data online so whenever you use it next time it will open from there where you have left so now uh, come to the groups part if you click on the settings button so it will show the groups you have currently okay so like i want to edit this group so you need to click on this you can just come in like okay i am selecting two five zero so currently growth name you can see it's two five zero even it's showing how many accounts it, it has and other thing here you can say unassigned is 27 now because i have deleted a group uh few moments earlier uh, it's not in the video i have deleted it in the background so like okay so i am i want to delete this group so all you need to do is click here So that groups group is deleted and the six account that had that was in this group those are not deleted those will go to this unassigned part it takes some time but it will go there and if you want to create a new group just click on this add new group so i am giving the name like this click on this plus sign here 
you see it's here now i need to save this order if you want to just uh, like okay so you see i brought it here down even i here if i want i can put it here also so this is the thing you can just uh, order the uh, reordering the groups wherever you can to whichever you find is suitable after that all you need to do is save new order so you can see that new group is here uh, but it has nothing even my account was here in this group so i want to move it to the new group so you can do it from here really like okay move it to the okay so it's giving a warning for me that servers is trying to overload it actually i am using a virtual machine that's why the problem is occurring if you use your own uh, pc then it won't be a problem by the way there is another thing i want to show the last part here so i am clicking on the start button again you can see it's activating it's downloading the data and the best part is you see it's opening where I let for each tab, even it doesn't matter how many tabs you have open. At least I like it kept open 10, 20. But if you close it from here, then it won't show anything. So the main thing is using this app, only this multi login app, yeah, or you can use hundreds, thousands of accounts only in one software you don't need to create